Every flower blooms in its own time. Ken Petty Please hit like, leave your comments, subscribe, and share this video. Flowers with Difficult Spelling Part 8 Ranunculus in American and British with the same scientific name. The Ranunculus comes all the way from Central Asia. When the flower arrived in Europe, it was given the strange sounding name Ranunculus. This is in fact derived from the Latin word for frog, which is not as weird as it seems. In the wild, the ranunculus grows in swampy, marshy areas. The ranunculus is a large genus of about 600 species, 276 of flowering plants, in the family Ranunculaceae. Members of the genus are known as buttercups, spitworts, and water crow foods. The Ranunculus species are used as food by the larvae of some Lepidopterae species, including the Hebrew character and the small angle shades. Some species are popular ornamental flowers in horticulture, with many cultivars selected for large and brightly colored flowers. In the language of flower, the ranunculus symbolizes charm. In Victorian times, the gift of a bunch of ranunculus meant the giver found the receiver very charming indeed. The flower is still extremely popular today, and a gift of a dozen stems is bound to bring a smile to someone's face. Ranunculus Charm Saponaria in American, Saponaria in British, with the scientific name Saponaria officinalis or Saponaria officinalis.
The scientific name Saponaria is derived from the Latin sapo, stem sapon, meaning so, which like its common name refers to its utility in cleaning. From this same Latin word is derived the name of the toxic substance saponin. Contained in the roots at levels up to 20% when the plant is flowering. Indian soap nuts contain only 15%. It produces a ladder when in contact with water. The epithet officinalis indicates its medicinal functions. It is a common host plant for some moth species, including the white lined sphinx. It is a common host plant for some moth species, including the white lined sphinx. Saphonaria officinalis is a common perennial plant from the family Caryophyllaceae. It is a native to Asia and Europe and commonly known as soap words. They are herbaceous perennial and annual. Some with woody bases. The flowers are abundant, five petaled and usually in shades of pink or white. This plant has many common names including common soap words, bouncing bat, crow soap, Wild Sweet William and Soap Weed. There are about 20 species of soap worth altogether. In the language of flower, the saponaria can symbolize cleansing or hygiene. The plants are often as seen growing along roadsides, waste places, and railroad tracks and are considered weedy by sun. In the language under cultivation, it is an upright pretty perennial with pink, rose or white clusters of flowers. Soapworts get their name because they contain saponins in the plant's sap, which ladders when used for washing. It tolerates light food traffic. Saponaria, cleansing, hygiene. Trachelium in American and British, with the scientific name Trachelium cerulium. The Trachelium, which has a botanical name of Trachelium cerulium, comes from the Greek word Trachelos, which means neck. The name refers to its medicinal ability to treat throat problems. Trachelium is a species of flowering plants in the family Caponiola CE, native to Mediterranean which is native range includes Algeria, Morocco, Portugal, Spain, and Sicily. It has also become naturalized in a few areas including New Zealand, the Azores, and parts of mainland Europe. Growing to 120 cm or 47 inches tall by 30 cm or 12 inches wide, 
It is woody based, erect hair based perennial with oval leaves and dense cushions of violet purple flowers in summer. The specific epithets, cerulean means dark blue. In the language of flowers, the Tarkilium which was nicknamed the throat words because it was used in ancient times for the treatment of neck or throat sores. It can symbolize unnoticed and neglected beauty. Trachelium, unnoticed and neglected beauty. See you in my next vlog. Don't forget to hit like, leave your comments, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you very much.